Hi, this is how you should demo your web API endpoint for the third assignment for debuff. Right, so after you send in the request, so what you should do is you should organize all your requests into a meaningful collection. So here you can new, so new collection, give a name. So let's say this is about uh, movies. Of course, yours will be on restaurant review. So movies, and then yeah, right. Now, after you've tested your web API, what you should do is then you should save it, give a meaningful name for the request. Okay, save it into your newly created collection. Alright, so let me create another collection this time around for comments. And now I'm going to change this to comments, change the name to get all comments. Sent. Ensure it's working. Then save it. Save as. Save to the new collection comments. Okay. One trick I want to show you is that when you are doing for posting, right? So what you can do is always copy one working JSON set. So we can copy from here. Then we can set up a new request so make sure that we put content type and application json raw and then we paste in that sample json object so at the back end at the end point we do not have to furnish id we do not have to furnish the date once you see a uh, red color underlying means something wrong with your JSON object. So we should take away this one. So let's put in something review all great username Johnny. Okay, so we do a post. So affected row is one. Okay, so it's time to save this working request. So name it meaningfully. Create a comment. Okay, in the comment, save. So we do not have to go to Workbench to check. What we can do is we can go back to add all comments, do a fresh request. Okay, and then verify that the comment has been added. Okay, the next part I want to show all of you is how to use some advanced feature in Postman uh, because when we are testing the web API, we may have to make changes to some of the value uh, which can be quite troublesome. So uh, basically, I'm going to demo like how we can use the uh, variable feature in Postman to help us to uh, have more automation in our requests. So for example, we send this request here for post. Okay, so what we do is we go to uh, test here. All right, and then <coughs> we put in these two JavaScript. So the idea of this JavaScript is that whatever that is returned by the endpoint, which you will see here, you will get stored into data. Okay, and then uh, we will traverse the JSON here find out what is that particular the value we are interested in and we store inside uh, this particular variable in this over here is called token okay so now we need to go to the environment so we can uh, click on this button here all right so let's add one environment okay we can call this cdev and the uh, uh, 
variable name can be anything that you want to name it so I'm going to call this uh, select select ID okay ID something like that okay so uh, I'm not going to put any initial value or current value you can do that if you want to okay so save it okay so now go back to post and we want we want this request to use the environment okay to use the environment so now our variable is called select ID in fact you will come out okay and then the data dot token right uh, okay so let me just do a post first so that you you understand what I'm trying to say so I do a post here okay so I want to get this value sorry I want to get this value okay this value is the 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 ID that is generated by my SQL because our ID is auto increment so this is the latest ID that is generated so we can go back to get and you we do a fresh request you can see that yeah indeed this is the newly generated ID so what we want to do here is we want to get hold of this value and then we can use it in update and delete okay so I'm going to copy this one so it will be data dot insert ID okay so the idea is after we do a post right this whole chunk will flow into data and then we are drilling in to find the insert ID and we put inside that variable okay so now we can click send right so if we go to if we if we mouse over okay if we go to quick look again right you can see the value is 80 is correct okay so how to use this variable it's very easy so for example we want to update okay we can just put double curly brace or in fact just put a curly brace this will appear so select it, okay so this is so with this syntax the postman will know that you are referring to the variable okay and then as for the body we can also make use of this variable so we can say uh, updated review for uh, ID then select ID all right okay and then for delete we can do the same thing select ID all right so let me save save and save okay so let me so after you set up when you demo to your tutor it's very easy so you can go to get all comments right get all comments then create a comment all right so creating comments and then you can go back to get all comments to show to your tutor that indeed you have created a new comment okay update comments so here we will be updating the one that is just created so we click send okay so it's good let's go back to get all comments send and if we scroll down right so you can see yeah we have updated okay and then now if we go to delete we send delete okay and then we go back to get all comments to to see whether has this been deleted or not sent so indeed 81 is gone now all right so this is how you can use variable if you are doing advanced things like logging in to get a token yeah you can also uh, store that uh, token into a variable because uh, uh, for certain endpoint you may uh, need to send the token for for verification so you can make use of the variable okay so I hope this helped you